Well, last night, or I should say early this morning, my driveway alert went off quite loudly, causing me to fly up out of bed, blood rushing through my body, adrenaline pumping, grabbed my flashlight, ran to the window, and saw something running around, looked just like a coon right here, checking out the chickens. The lights were on, the uh, driveway alert was on, and then it moved out of the light. And I sat there watching because with the raccoons, they're so smart, you don't know where they go. And uh, it's pitch black out here at night, you can't see anything. So I sat here watching and watching for a minute, and suddenly a stupid cat appeared in front of my camper. So, it just tells me though that the uh, security light works on a coon sized animal and uh, that I still can pop up out of bed from a deep sleep instantaneously. Now I've got bad news here in the old RV. I'm really upset. There's another war on the home front. That is fresh mouse poop. That is really annoying. So, as I clean, a new mouse has discovered the place and is doing his thing. I just got, I was at the dollar store yesterday and I got these scented tea lights and uh, I'm burning one in each sink for now to try to make it smell nicer in here. There's still a stale old RV smell. I put them in the sink because that's the safest place to burn a candle just because uh, it's metal. It looks pretty. But anyway, I want to make it smell better in here and I figured that would help a little bit. I can't find any proper incense. I was looking but still haven't found anything. Well, there's all this chemical fake junk so if I'm going to use chemicals I might as well use that. That's cheap. So now I have to get rat poison. It just keeps going and going and going. Now something that bothers me that I have to figure out is everything costs money. Obviously. And what are you going to do if the system breaks down and there's no poison to use? Those things will get in all these little holes and corners and cracks and crevices and your cat can do nothing. If, if the mouse got inside this mess here my cat would not be able to do anything. Nothing at all. And, um, yeah, there's more mouse poop straight down in there. So the mouse has been running around. So annoying. I've got to destroy everything before it's too late. Might end up putting another bug bomb in here, but I don't like doing that with the new paint. It's time to get some poison again. Can't be having mice in here. The bathroom looks amazing. That light, although it's not a pretty light in itself, puts a nice pattern on the wall. I was thinking of maybe replacing it, but I'm not sure now. The um, it's a nice, nice light when it's running. But the bulbs, I need to change everything to LED. So we'll see what happens. The walls are still tacky and actually almost wet in places so it was too humid yesterday I'm gonna bring a fan out here and hook it up to my my little plug-in cigarette lighter I'm gonna clip it on there again and put a fan in here to blow around a little bit and try to help out I'm going to set up my Godini charger to, into this box here so that I can leave it running all the time because the problem is I keep shutting it off at night because of the raccoons I want to be able to hear what's going on and I keep shutting it off every night and so I'm not really charging my batteries properly I'm not getting any productive work done because of that not very stable connection. Well, anyway, there's that. And I'll be setting up that in here permanently. Well, not permanently, at least while I'm working until I'm out of the other camper. 
and when I'm living in here then I'll move it out. Now I can leave this on. I've also put a USB splitter I got off eBay for just I think three or four dollars. There's the USB and 12 volt cigarette lighter splitter I should say. <coughs> I've got a bug in my throat. Those little gnats keep going in your throat. I don't know why. So, spin this up. And now I can leave this running all the time. Because at night I keep shutting off the thing because it's so loud. I shut it off every night in my camper so I can hear the raccoons attack the birds. Or anything attacking, I should say. So right now, while I'm working on this RV, I can leave this out here 24-7 and hopefully charge up this battery faster. Because this is taking forever, only going during the daylight hours. And uh, I want to re restore these batteries. So you can hear how loud that is. And I have it sitting on a towel to stop vibration. If it was not on the towel, it would be really loud. Because it's in a wooden case. I mean, if you build one, I'll show, be showing a video soon. If you build one, you can use different materials so it doesn't vibrate so much. You can put rubber seals or something underneath the wheel. Whatever, but I used scrap materials I had laying around. That's a, a uh, lawnmower wheel. So, anyway, it works. Now I can leave this running. I think you can get a good idea now. It's a little bit brighter out right now. There's the dark wall and the green, although the green is a little bit dark, it's a lot nicer. It's a lot brighter than the wood. And that bathroom really glows. So I can't wait to get that painted. Might get it today, but I don't know. With the, uh, the walls are still a bit tacky, I might be better off waiting a day or two. So I'm going to do the put the primer on this wall now. My camera battery is dying, so I'm going to shut it off. I won't be able to record, but when it's charged, I'll come back to you. Now there's a nice bright difference. Finish this wall. It's a lot of work painting. It takes a lot of time preparing and everything. That's just the primer, and this will be the same as this over here when I'm done, the two-tone. I like how that turned out. I hope that shows up well. I think it looks nice. Let me see, two colors there together. It's hard to see with all the shadows and the sun shining through the window. Well, it's not really sunny, but... See out there? It keeps looking like it wants to rain. It's supposed to. But anyway way brighter. You can really see in here. You can see all the way through the bathroom and before you could not. So if it, uh, if the walls aren't too tacky later, yeah, it seems like it's getting better. I might paint this yet today with the, the white. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. might paint this with the white latex. And this will really be bright then. That's going to be good. My candles are still burning. I don't know how many hours ago I put that up in there, but I'm letting them burn through to totally help put a nicer smell in here. That and the paint is definitely improving the smell. Somebody asked me a valid question. Why shouldn't I clean everything and then paint? Well, two reasons. One, I was going totally insane with just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. You you just can't. It gets to be overwhelming. And that answers another question that somebody asked me. Is how do I manage to keep up and just not give up? Or become despaired? Because of all this filth that was done inside here and the more filth I keep digging up. Well, the hope of seeing this finished is what keeps me going. The more I get done and finished looking, the more hope I have, is the easier it is to clean out those other little holes of filth I'm finding. Now when I'm done, from here back, these two rooms will be done. Or these two sides of this room will be done. Fully done. Uh, I haven't cleaned inside the cabinets to my fullest standards yet. 
you know, I've, I've given them a wipe down, but I haven't really cleaned them to the highest standards that I will. But that can be done way later after I do all the worst of everything else. And the cabinet doors can be done later on. That can all be done in time. But just give me a little bit of hope, that's why. And also, it's the another big reason I'm painting these walls is because of the extreme humidity because the amount of mold and mildew that was on the walls and in this RV I'm using a mold and mildew resistant paint which is sealing off the walls and preventing any growth because it is really really humid and it rains every day so I hope that answers your questions well enough Well, fighting off biting black flies. They're die bombing my head right now. I came out here to graze in my garden here. There's some parsley. I just eat right out of the garden. I don't usually take much time to go and make a salad. Salads require work and preparation. And cleaning up your dishes afterwards. I just eat. Oh, black fly bit me. Look at that beast. Oh, well, that's not the one. That's an ugly thing, though. Well, I just like coming out here and eating the herbs. There's the flowers I picked off my. I think you guys called it Aragula that I've been eating. Picked off the flower head though, so it doesn't go to seed on me. Beet tops. Beets are good eating. At least I hope so, because I've been eating them. I need to get out here and cut this grass back, these weeds, before it overgrows everything. Rain or not, I just have to do it. Here's something else I wanted to do. I want to tame this jungle a little bit where some of these lower branches are really huge and have grown up to produce massive stalks of their own but I want to trim off these lower branches I was told to cut off the suckers That's some of advice I had gotten before and I'm not sure what exactly are the suckers but I do know that some of these smaller branches are going to be cut off right now and that'll also make some room for other things in here to grow all uh, there's a lot of lower limbs and I want to give my uh, peppers and other plants in here a chance to grow and my onions too of course Okay, this really turned into a jungle down here. That'll allow some light to come down. Definitely needs to be tamed. And then my uh, vines, I had said I was going to stake them up and train him to climb up which I definitely have to do now too so there's a break in the rain and I'm doing some gardening here to thin this out there were no tomatoes right here around these poor pepper plants and they had grown up so thick and come over so I've thinned it out so that the peppers have a chance of growing and we'll see how that works now the Sun can at least get to them they are forming fruit so they'll live but I just have to be more aggressive out here and maintain my garden better. It's just been so wet and the bugs have been so bad. Here I've thinned out the bottom area. It still looks pretty dense, but that's all onions down in here. And what I've done is thinned out the bottom branches of the tomatoes so that the onions can get some light. 
and I have a little bit of rot over here in this back edge. Some of the onions are rotting due to the, uh, oops, there's some more. Yeah, they're starting to rot. Everything's starting to rot. It's too much water. It's just way too much rain. It never ends. And also, by thinning this out, it'll probably help air out this earth a lot better. So, I just need to maintain and aggressively chop. Let the uh, air get to this earth better. And of course I'm going to trim around the outside edges to help as well. That'll seriously improve airflow and hopefully save my garden. Well, I got this Coleman solar camp shower at Walmart the other day. And although it's really overcast, that might be the best test to see if this will work. Um, I'm going to put this out and see if I can get at least a warmish shower today. All this is is simply a a bag, a black bag. I guess that's some fastening rope and a big black bag with a shower head on the end. I guess you pull it, I'm guessing. Turn it, pull it. Yeah, that would turn it on and off. So I'm going to fill this up with some of my extra rainwater I have here and set it out to heat up. Let's see what it says. Solar energy. People keep asking me about solar. Well, this is my first solar heating experiment out here. Gonna have a nice shower today, I hope. Well, there it is. Actually, I think I have to move it because I just saw where the sun is and it's going down over the trees. So I'm going to have to move this over into the yard a little bit further. Oh, just saw the camper. That camper, people are asking about it all the time, has been there for years, many years. And I try not to show it because it's ugly. It's got moss growing on it. It's water damaged. It's an empty gutted shell. And it's a church. Well, uh, I don't know how it's a church, but it's just an empty shell. There's garbage all around it, but it's not mine. I'm not allowed to touch it. And it's there. I try to keep it off camera, but there it is. And my camper is over there. That's here. It sort of looks like a campground here with that. And then right there is my my plantings, my rainwater, my chickens. The empty, ugly camper. It's not mine. The landlady allows them to keep it here for eternity. And that's how it is. So, if it was my choice, that would be gone. How fast can an ant infestation take over? Overnight. This is an ant bait I had up here in the kitchen for maybe a month now, untouched. Suddenly, there's a massive carpenter ant infestation. So I put out the second trap to feed them. Now yesterday, actually the, for the last month now, there have been no ants in here. And they have just emptied this. I've been working outside in their RV and they've emptied this that fast. And I set this one out and look at them crowding into that gap in the, in the entry. They're huge, fat, juicy carpenter ants. Fighting to get in that hole. Look at the size of those monsters. So that means they're setting up camp somewhere in my camper again. And I've got a battle again. Look at them, just, it's disgusting. What gave me a clue is I felt ants dropping on my neck this morning when I was on the computer. And uh, look at them. The battle is on again. I'll tell you what, living out here in the forest is every day a battle to protect your belongings, your animals, from nature. Here's something I think I'm going to stock up on very heavily. This is the, um, actually that's orthoboric, orthoboric acid, yeah, boric acid. Roach and ant killer. This is from the dollar store. It's quite a bit for a dollar. I think I'm going to bulk up on it because this is a serious battle and if the system collapses and you're stuck out in a forest in your home surrounded by ants, you might lose the battle. I'm going to get that lid back on. 
what I'm doing right now is putting it in their trail which happens to be unfortunately right by my stove and I put some up there oh by the way I have a grenade it's not real but it's cool I put it right there so they can walk to it on their way to the ant bait I'm feeding them look at how many is in there it's insane that's a big one there well so what you do is you put that stuff along their trail don't disturb them let them walk along it let them keep doing their happy little business and they'll walk through it and as they wash themselves and share food with the rest of the colony they will end up killing the whole colony so that's what I'm doing look at the size of some of those monsters there's a huge one disgusting they're in here they're really in here big time now it's disgusting I've got a full infestation again overnight just overnight hi this is Troy from the off-grid project sitting in my new off-grid RV I hope the noise doesn't bother you I have my Bedini generator sitting here running on the side I set it up so it can run here 24-7, charge batteries, and so I have silence in the camper so I can hear the raccoons at night. Um, things are coming along and looking out here, out at the homestead out here. The garden is looking good. RV is looking good, but I think I'm a month behind my schedule. It's going to be very, very good when it's done though, so it's worth it in the end. But it sure is some work. It's more than I had thought when I got the RV. But hey, it's free. What are you going to say? I uh, just want to give you a reminder. Uh, don't forget to check out Well Water Boys Contest. It's a free contest. All you have to do is do a video of you pumping some water. And submit it as a video response. Uh, go over check it out. He's got literally tons of prizes for you guys. I'm just doing this as a favor for you and for him. I get nothing out of this, but the uh, the contest is still going. There's still plenty of time, and he's got a lot of prizes. I'm serious. Go check it out. Check out his site, and uh, pump some water. See if you can get something.